guys welcome to the channel in today's video i have a special guest this is gabrielle my daughter and um she wanted to be here a long time ago but i think this was the perfect time for her to be on the video i have some questions and like a mini interview that i'm gonna do with her uh and here she is she's gonna introduce herself hi my name is gabrielle or gabby for short and this and i am the daughter of Kochi Sara Blue. Yay! <laughs> She's a little nervous, but it's okay. This is her first time. And we have some questions here that I have for her. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So, Gabby, I have some questions here for you. Um, I like and subscribe. I can subscribe to my mother. That's going to go further in the video after the introduction okay okay so i have some questions here for her so before we start let me just give you an overview of the topic of today and why i decided to ask her this stuff it is easy for us as grown up to give our own opinions about why we're moving especially when we have kids like me for example that i'm making this decision of moving in the near future to the dominican republic but what about the kids how do they feel why do i think this is a good idea it's easy for me to talk uh, for them, but at the end of the day, they have their own boys, and maybe there are things that we can learn from them when it comes to becoming a better family or a community or, you know, anything like that. So let me just go ahead and start asking her questions. Are you ready? Yes, mom. Okay. So the first question is, describe to me what is your day like living in New York City? So just, it's like, describe to, to the viewers, like, what do you do in a day like when you wake up and how is your life here in New York? My life is really good. I feel well. I wake up, I brush my teeth, I eat. Th things here is really good. So oh. yeah, I, I quite feel happy here. Okay, and what else you do? Like then you go to school? Yeah, I go to school. I, uh, I'm not really good at math, but I try. My 100%. My mom always tells me. Do, try your 100% and something that you don't know. Yay, that's good. And what do you do for fun or like things like that? How do you feel about like activities that you can do here? And what do you feel it could be better in I mean, your daily the life? Activities here, I, uh, well, I don't, I don't really like being in screen time that much, but I, I, I try staying away. And I, I usually draw like a lot and i do some other activities and i help my grandma gra grandma soraida um to with the dishes with chores everything okay she's trying she's trying even though my mom doesn't let her because she says she's too little she's 10 years old guys and um dominican grandmothers are different yeah <laughs> nothing compared to what they did to us anyways um so you know gabby that we are moving to the dominican republic i want to know what are your thoughts about us moving to the dominican republic my thoughts of the dominican republic moving there are really nice and yeah i would like to move to the dominican republic because i feel like it's a better life there i've traveled there before like multiple times so i feel so now i feel comfortable enough to go there and have a very good experience okay what do you think um is different between here and living here you in here in new york city and mm -hmm. the things that you do every day and back to the dominican republic when we go Oh, when you when you go with Mama Sarada to vacation, what do you think is different? Well, both of them are quite different. Yes, they don't have they have do have similarities and differences. And here, when I when I do activities and I well I do things here. Sometimes here it feels expensive, but I try I try my best. And also, um, I just go on screen time and i quite do chores without my mom telling me anymore because i'm trying to be a responsible 10 year old and there it's actually quite cheap because now that my mom is building a house we we don't have to pay any rent we don't have to do anything because we're the owners unlike here 
we're living in an apartment right now and our apartment we have we, we are now well in an apartment and we have to pay things and it's oddly unfair to us because my mom here she works a lot she wakes up at 2 a.m in the morning um and she works a lot and i try and i try not to make her waste any money on something that looks good but is useless nice oh she's so sweet guy <laughs> anyway so you think that your life will be better in the dominican republic because there's other stuff that you can do without having to spend so much money in the right? dominican republic i'd rather i usually play with the chickens that grandpa has grandpa isidro he um lets me play with the little chickens he gives me one and then i i just wrap them around in a little blanket trying not to suffocate them because they are quite fragile yeah um <laughs> that's called a mother shock right there but um then i would just give them little kisses so it's quite fun there than here because animals here cost very expensive if you don't know mm -hmm. they cost five thousand and it's quite just a waste of your own money yeah Now, we had a cockatiel you remember and it was expensive right yeah it was at least like four thousand or something or no even. it was like three hundred something but it was expensive it was still expensive and here i feel like it's quite a waste of money so there it's usually cost is like two thousand pesos or something for yeah. four animals so there's quite cheaper so if if you are removed out of the united states you would find another country or others that would actually have the dollars but it would be more cheaper yeah so like with the dollars you could do a lot more dollars than you do. like for example when you have two hundred dollars here and there when when you're in dominican republic that would be ten thousand and nine hundred yeah and it's very and good actually because one dollar there is 55 55 54 pesos one dollar so yeah one dollar over there so it's worth a lot especially if you know how to use your money over there it can get you a long way because trust me. and my, my mom has a dominican accent if you don't see in her videos i'm not, I'm not making you embarrassed okay i'm not making you <laughs> but we all know that <laughs> we all we all saw your beautiful host right here, Coach Isora Brew. Um, yeah, my mom has the Dominican accent. I do. I do. <laughs> Another question that I have for you is, what's something that worries you that you wish it was better by living here in New York City? Something that worries me here living. Yeah, like... The only things that worry me is quite like food. That sometimes we all need food to survive mm -hmm. in this human world, Mother Nature. Um, and <clears throat> the only thing that worries me is the fact that my mom tries so hard working. And I remember that one video, if you haven't seen it yet, go to her channel. And her video is quite like a little interview of her time, it literally using time wisely by working at two in the morning to two in the p two p.m yeah and it's like two p.m yeah yeah two p.m you know or, the, but, but you came early today because you know the jobs i do some of the other jobs i do it and, from the, and yeah well the only thing that worries me is the fact that she tries buying me clothes like this summer clothes here and then um food like the food is right, right now getting very expensive and oddly the uh, the toxic foods that aren't even good and they're made out of very bad things. Now, something that we can do better is make maybe make them cheaper, but I'm I'm not sure if that's gonna be yeah, like. Yeah, like there's but, nothing. But then in the Dominican Republic, it's very good, handmade. Uh, well, mira, la Dominica Republic, mira aquí podemos hacer no, empanadas. We can do empanadas. She's saying like we can make our own food over there, and it's actually cheaper to. To do this stuff and plus you can plant trees in the back of your back in the backyard you can buy the the plant you can plant your your you can grow your food in the backyard it's not like you're gonna grow everything but you can plant some stuff in the back in the backyard and you know that our backyard there is very big so we are planning to do a lot of stuff and what is something you want to do in the backyard that you told me well That's in the backyard we i usually wanted to build like houses for the animals 
to live there and then um i can play with them like for example rabbits but i'm allergic to the fur we have a pet husky there so we can just make the husky's house yeah right here i'm gonna put a picture of echo <laughs> i bought echo when he was like a baby we bought it he was my husband has baby. has it in his house and yeah we are mother we are. you should add, you should add a romantic audio in this clip right here anyway so i think we got out of topic what i wanted to say is that gabrielle she learned spanish and english so she knows she, saw him bilingual. she is fluent in spanish and fluent in english i know a lot of let's say dominican people when their child is born here some of them don't even know spanish gabby is very smart she learns spanish she knows how to write in spanish and all of that she did by herself and of course with the help of like Big her brain. grandma and stuff like that <laughs> she was able to like make it better so she's fluent in spanish right Gabby? are you happy that you can speak both languages i'm happy because at least i can communicate with people with people that that speak that kind of language like for example if I couldn't even speak Spanish or or English, I wouldn't be able to communicate but, with people. Well, and English would, you were going to learn because you live here. I'm saying about you learning Spanish well. You know a lot of kids in school are, have parents that are Hispanic, like that they speak Spanish. There's less Hispanic in my school. and But they are bilingual, some of them. But some of them, they have parents that speak Spanish and they don't speak Spanish. What do you think about that? It's fine. You can just learn it. And when my mother was was born in Dominican Republic, she came all the way here from Dominican Republic, and I almost thought she took a boat here. No. Um, <laughs> Bobby, overall, how do you feel about making this big change that's gonna maybe transform your life because you have never lived in the Dominican Republic? So I want you to tell. Everybody that's viewing you right now, everybody that's watching you right now, how, what do you think that it's going to be the hardest thing for you to do by moving over there? I was born here. Since I'm only used to this apartment, it's quite difficult for me. Um, it's a very hard decision if the Dominican Republic or um, United States because I'm quite used to both. But I feel like if my mother feels comfortable, I would go there anyway because I feel well in the Dominican Republic too. I feel more better in the Dominican Republic, let's just say, because it's more cheaper, We, we it's my country, I love it, and there is natural resources. You have family over there too, and maybe they family. should know. My father is over there, my grandmother is over there, we have a lot of of family especially in the community where Auntie i'm building Rosa. and the community that i'm building that's where i grew up gabrielle has been there she likes it too it's a more natural place um, it's a more natural resource place um there's a lot of things there's fun things that kids can do without being so mother can i breed the chickens you know, the what the chickens yeah. can i breed them i don't know i guess I know I am a budgeter. I like to budget. I like to maintain my finances organized. I'm going to show you a click right here of the things that I do on my Instagram page, which is in Spanish. I have to clarify that. And I decided to make that my Instagram only in Spanish because even though I speak a lot of English here in my channel, only English, I feel like my community on Instagram is more Spanish based and I want to have a balance. I don't know. Um, it might be a little uncomfortable because I'm sharing a different content in Instagram, but because I feel like we need so much information about budgeting, about taking control of our finances that I had to put something out and that's what I'm doing on my Instagram. I'm going to leave some clicks here uh, to my side. You can watch it. If this interests you, let me know because I can actually post this kind of videos here for people that are also struggling with budgeting how to budget and stuff like that and this has really helped me 
take it to the next level that is how i'm able to save money that's how i'm able to do all kind of stuff it's not about making the money it's about keeping the money anyways guys i hope you have enjoyed the video with my daughter gabrielle yeah. gabby gave you some insights on yeah. what she thinks uh, about moving to the dominican republic i hope that's helpful and i hope you have fun watching the interview i see you in the next video i'm gonna link some videos right here um as well so you can watch after